In the previous video, we discussed about how students these days are getting distracted due to their increased exposure to internet, push marketing being done by applications, and two important steps for reducing distraction while preparing for exams. If you haven't watched that video yet, link is in the description below. Today we'll talk about further three steps to reduce distraction while preparing for exams. So let's get started. Point number three, look for silent places to study. Another major reason why most of the students get distracted while studying is because of the noises that come from the external environment. Sometimes there is a gathering at home. Sometimes there is a religious ceremony in the society that is going on. Sometimes someone is playing music so loud that you are unable to study. All these things make the environment unsuitable for study. And it's not only you, anyone including me also would get distracted because of the loud noises. But ask yourself three important questions. Question number one, can we let these temporary noises impact our permanent goal? The answer is no, absolutely no. Question number two, can we do anything to control these noises? The answer is again no, because these things are out of our control. Question number three, but can we learn to ignore them? The answer is yes. Absolutely yes. So the question arises, how do we ignore these problems? Point number one, close the door of your study room while you are studying. It will reduce the noises falling on your ears. Point number B, to further reduce the noise, use headphones. However, I feel that using headphones is a bit risky as somebody might call you in emergency and due to headphones, you might not be able to hear them. So please use them with caution. And point number C, if you do not have a separate study room in your house, then look for private or public libraries near your house. And if they are not located nearby your place, then look for some other place where you can study with full concentration. Pack your full day meal with you and go there and study. My strong suggestion here would be, if you are going into a private or a public library, then focus on the work you are doing and keep your public interactions to the minimal so that you can concentrate on the work that you are doing. Point number four, organize your workspace. Benjamin Franklin once said, for every minute that's spent on organizing, an hour is earned. I absolutely believe in this quotation and personally feel that people who are organized stays focused in their life and they can do anything in their life with full concentration as it helps you to reduce your distractions and channelize your energies at one thing at a time. Now here is the photo of an organized study table and an unorganized study table. Now if I ask you to choose between the two, I am sure that you are going to choose the organized one. Now the question arises, how do we stay organized while studying? The answer is very very simple. It involves only three steps. Step number one, keep all your books and registers in a drawer or an albina. Step number two, Take out only the books and registers of the subject that you are studying at the moment. Step number three, ensure that your study table has no other book other than the book that you are studying at the moment. How would this help? I feel when you keep too many books in front of you and you glance at them while you are studying something, your mind automatically starts recalling the concept that it understood and it couldn't understood in that subject. You get distracted from the subject that you are currently studying and start thinking about something else. And ultimately, these things are the things that lead to distraction. Now, just imagine if you have only books and registers of one subject in front of you, you will be forced to concentrate on that subject. Even if your mind starts to think about something else, you have to control it from deviating. Initially, you might face some issues. But after some time, your mind will get used to it and this will help you to increase your concentration levels. It is only you who can work for the betterment of yourself. Point number five, the 45 minute concentration technique. Now, if you are studying for long hours during a day, let's say 10 to 12 hours or even more, then it is almost impossible to imagine that you will not feel distracted even for a minute. Distraction is a normal phenomenon and it is sure to happen. But how to make friends with this thing that is the skill that you have to conquer. For this, I introduce you to the 45 minute technique that I use during my CHM. Under this technique, you have to stay focused on the task in hand for a continuous period of 45 minutes. You cannot afford to think about anything else. 
सो यू हैव टू फोर्स योर माइंड टू कॉन्सेंट्रेट एट द टास्क इन हैंड द रियल मोटिवेशन ऑफ द फोर्टी फाइव मिनट टेक्निक इज द फाइव मिनट्स ऑफ ब्रेक दैट यू गेट आफ्टर एवरी फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स ऑफ अनडिवाइडेड अटेंशन टू योर स्टडीज इन दिस फाइव मिनट्स ब्रेक यू कैन थिंक अबाउट एनी थिंग यू वॉन्ट बट डू रिमेंबर यू हैव टू रिटर्न बैक टू योर स्टडीज एज सुन एज दिस फाइव मिनट्स गेट ओवर बाय फॉलोइंग दिस ट्रिंजन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन टेक्निक you will learn the skill of concentrating at the task in hand and not deviating and in some time these thing will ultimately become a part of your habit and you will start doing it unconsciously i hope these tips were helpful for you and it will prevent the distractions while you are preparing for your exams if you have liked this video then please do subscribe to the channel and share this videos with as many friends as possible to appreciate our work if you have any doubts post it in the comment section below I will make another video providing the solution for your doubts. Thank you so much for watching.